So Gregory, we know that finding a job is a full-time job and sitting in front of the computer eight hours is not healthy and going for interviews and getting rejections, it's not healthy. It drains your energy down. So what tips you have for job seekers to stay positive? I tell my clients, you know, have a routine, go out, network, gym, listen to music or maybe play music. So do you have any other tips for job seekers? Yeah, for sure. And you mentioned the gym. So I think what I've believed or what I've come to believe or notice about my own body is that it's sort of like the alternator in a vehicle, you know? Mm. So like when you drive a car, the alternator charges the battery. So sort of like the more you use it, the more energy you've got in the battery. Mm -hmm. For me, going to the gym recharges my battery, even though it's a physical exertion, it recharges my battery. And so something that recharges our battery, because like you said, the job process applying and cover yeah. letters and logins. I mean, it can be yeah. very draining and, and sort of demoralizing if we're not mm-hmm. getting responses right away. So engaging in something that we do love, whether it's time with friends, going out and about, setting, like you said, a schedule where, all right, I'm going to do 10 applications and then I'm going to watch an episode of something on Netflix and 10 yeah. applications. That's very healthy. It's yeah. about finding a balance that works and allows you to recharge so that when you're working on getting that job, you can be fully present in the experience. Mm. And I uh, noticed on your back says the seven keys of success. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. So the seven keys of success are what I've come to believe are the seven most valuable skills mm-hmm. we can develop in ourselves that not only make us more well-rounded, just as people, But from an employer's standpoint, makes you a better or a standout candidate. Here's a great example. One of the skills, the first skill is curiosity. Yes. Let's say you're an accountant and you've got a great CV, but you're not very curious. Yeah. If there's another accountant that you're competing with, they've got an equally good CV, but they've developed that additional, what most people refer to as a soft skill. Yes. I like to call them tactical skills. Mm-hmm. If they've developed that soft skill or that tactical skill of curiosity, that's going to give them an edge. An edge, yeah. And so understanding these seven skills, it's it's curiosity, drive, energy, focus, gratitude, attitude, and belief. Mm-hmm. Developing those skills can make you more valuable, get you promoted more quickly, and I think long-term lead to a bigger paycheck. So if your audience wants those, uh, all they have to do is text the word keys, K-E-Y-S keys to the number 33777. Mm -hmm. uh, And I will send them a one sheet that explains in a little bit more detail what each of those seven keys of success are and how they can start to develop them in themselves. Those are great tips, Gregor. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of staying positive, leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Gregory. Gregory.